your station. Thanks for keeping it locked as we do Ladies First Finale on the show. And also, I gotta remind y'all, I mean, for real, you have got to be here uh, come this Thursday at State Show Poetry. It's gonna be straight ridiculous. Again, I wanna highlight my girl Yolanda. Miss Yolanda, we love you over here in the show. We can't wait for you to bring your presence and that beautiful gift of yours. She's gonna sing all her original material and just bless us and be prepared to support her at State Your Poetry, Illinois Center for Broadcasting, 530 South State Street. That's Harrison and State Draw. VI3, 8 to 9 is the open mic. 9 to 10 is the feature time. All right. So now, 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 we had um, Adriana and Erica Carter here, the lovely uh, Carter sisters. They all have to go kill it on the court. Uh, <laughs> and But now we're going to turn it over. I got my final feature from Drum Roll, please, if I had some. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> my girl up in here, uh, Miss Young Flame. What's up? What? Girl, get all into that. Like, it's <laughs> all about you. What's going on? What an honor and a blessing it is to have you on my show. You do wow. so much. And so, you know how to speak for yourself. I'm going to let you introduce yourself to the world on WendyCityUnderground.com. For mm-hmm. show, what's up, Chicago, and just the rest of the world? This is Antoinette Houston, aka Young Flame, in the building. Um, the pleasure is all mine. I mean, I'm I'm humble just to just to get the invite and be in the presence of and in the seat of so many uh, phenomenal Chicago artists. So it's definitely humbling, and I thank you. Um, Praise God. But yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, I'm a little known out there, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know. For those who don't know, definitely check me out. Young Flame, uh, young hyphen flame.com. Check me out on the website. Read my bio. It's all good. Young hyphen flame. <laughs> but we want to highlight the stuff. You know, we yeah. got to tease them. We got to bring them in and give them a chill of bread and stuff like I understand. that. I understand. So let's go ahead and highlight um, the thing that we do here on the Word with the Mouthpiece is primarily people uh, with the voice of the word. And you are definitely a poet of poets. And Thank so. You. So uh, let's talk about the poetry. We're gonna start with that because you do okay. so many things well. Okay. okay. So let's let's take them back a little bit. Um, the history of your life as a poet and bring Ooh. them up to today. You know, break it on. Telling down. my age, man. Oh, Please tell them my age. Um, I've been in this game. Wow, sixteen years. That's a minute. Sixteen years. I started writing and performing when I started writing. When I was eleven. Started performing when I was seventeen. Okay. Um, at Illinois State. Shout out to I State. Wow. Uh, was there for you know a couple years, but I did graduate from DePaul. DePaul. Damn it, love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love. What? I didn't know Look that. Maybe absolutely. Uh, computer science. Shut the front door. Computer science. Not that yes. finance. That's all good. It's all good. Shut it's the all front good. Door. <laughs> Chills, man. 2002 all day. Um, but no, I started um, performing when I was 17, and and uh, I've been in the game ever since. I mean, you know, I'm sure you've heard of the phenomenal Naima Dawson uh, oh, from uh, All Hype City. I've been part of that group since 2004. That's um, so, you know, we get it in with the theater, the improv, comedy, spoken word, song, everything. Just It's just amazing. So definitely blessed to be a part of that. And I've just been doing my thing around Chicago. Virginia, I lived out there for a while. I did my thing out there, Tennessee. So I'm trying to make my mark wherever I'm at, you know. And she here now, y'all. <laughs> absolutely, so absolutely. So it's a lot of trickers and treats, and she abbreviating a whole lot of stuff for us. I, I, I am. I it's am. all to the good. Yeah. Um, and basic question. Okay. Uh, what's the main thing you t- typically write about? Is there stuff you normally do? I know we do everything. Most of right, the writers, right. But what you, what's the season of your life? What do you write? You know what? Um, even though I'm not in a relationship, that's not a shameless plug, anybody. Like, I know <laughs> even though I'm not in a relationship, um, a lot of it has been about relationships. Not so much. Um, not so much me, not so much male female relationships, but just sister relationships. You know, women relationships. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just trying I'll to be like this shit here. Love it though, because it's Thank not, you. it's Thank class. You. you know what I'm saying? It's Thank not. You. You know, I don't know. People be doing things for sensationalism purposes, right? And whether that's promo or not, it's right. still good stuff. Thank you. I feel you. Thank you. I'm just trying to be honest, and that's mm-hmm. the one thing you're gonna get with young people. You're gonna get honesty. You know, right, wrong, or indifferent. So, um, it's definitely about that. Um. And just real life, like I like to make my poetry conversational, you know, so that it's not like I'm talking at you, but I'm just talking to you. Mm. And and that's that's what I kind of, you know, I try to do that. So usually when I start spinning, people don't even know that I'm spinning because they like, oh, okay. It's the flow. <laughs> it's the, the flow. flow you it. know. So, but no, nah, yeah. So it's, it's a it's a hodgepodge, a hodgepodge. Hodgepodge. Yeah. Gumbo. Hashtag. <laughs> exactly. Don't even know how to spell it, but whatever. I can't. I can't. Um, so. <laughs> relationships no matter what because yes. you know uh 
you know, the principles that come along with being in a relationship with anybody carries mm-hmm. over whether it's romantic or not. Right. Right. Trust, yep. communication, and yep. respect, no yep. matter what. So I'm with you on that. Yep. Um, shifting gears. Okay. Uh, let's talk about um the acting part or whatever. Like, yeah. give us a little history in that. What I, do I fell you? into that. Shout out to all the the accredited true actors out there who gone to school and accredited everything. I'm and just true. I went to college. Taking I got a class. big work. <laughs> Taking a class. Took classes, you know. Realize, like, hey, that's where I was when I got into it. I'm like, I like this. I don't want to get typecast all damn time. Exactly. For a little, uh, you know, the, the sad kick with a lot of spunk. Exactly. You know, exactly. Shantino, the ghetto sad kick. I don't want to do that. <laughs> exactly. I um, so, I, so I say shout out to that because I didn't. I did not go to acting school again. I was, I'm a nerd. I'm a certified nerd. I'm proud to be a nerd. I love computer engineering. Um, But I, what, what ended up happening was, I was in Transformers. That was like kind of like my start. And what happened was I just heard about an audition, the open call up north. I went there. It was literally, okay, take a Polaroid, say this line. And they called me back and was like, we like your look. You know, we kind of want you to, you know, just be part of our, um, our um, we have an elite group of extras. We only pick and I think it was 400 extras. Michael Bay handpicked these people. Okay. And I was one of those 400. And it was like, and he used us. Like, we were running through the streets of Chicago. You probably saw the debris and everything when they locked it down, jumping through fire, running with Shia LaBeouf, running with Tyrese. I mean, I'm like, I'm thinking I'm, you know, hot stuff. But but it was cool just to be in that element mm-hmm. on, on a million dollar movie. I yeah. mean, it's, I mean, millions. I mean, it was amazing. So it started there. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, once you're in that network, you're kind of in that network. And so then from there, I got opportunity to be in Contagion, um, met Lawrence Fishburne. I mean, it was amazing. Um, I mean, it was just, uh, I don't know. And then I got a feature extra role in Chicago Code. Um, so I played a police officer, you know. What? So I couldn't keep the handcuffs, but, you know, that's Look another story. You tried. <laughs> I tried. Like I tried. did try. I, I did try. Um, but no, I mean, it was like 12 episodes for the first season. I was in seven of them. So, and I mean, it was it's a, it was a blessing. So, you know, again, it wasn't like, oh, I went to this theater school or whatever. But just the opportunities that I have had mm-hmm. have been amazing. And just, just the doors that have opened up as a result of that have been amazing. So I'm humbled for that. Absolutely. Let's let's yeah. let's shout out a local, um, but well, like you mentioned Naima. Naima Dawson. I mean Naima, like we're gonna tweet about it. I'm sure she listening and she just <laughs> yeah. gonna be on the show. But yeah. uh Naima has done some great things. She's had some very talented people come out of her troop. Absolutely. Grady, what, I, I mean Grady. Like, what's the girl that's in your video? I get it. What's her name? Asia. Asia. That's Asia. Name Asia D. Was. She's part of um she's part of a phenomenal group with her sister, Legra Dolores. Yes, um, yes. I mean they're phenomenal you know i can't even say you know enough about them um but no naeem is great i mean you hit, you hit people on the show that have been you know born and bred from her binky. group i mean Lord. you got binky you got mel rob Lord. i mean like I say grady i mean it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of talent and they and, and even if they weren't part of all hype city they definitely know her name and know her craft and respect her craft and her product and i'm just you know getting humbled to be a part of that a daily group. Or so. at least been to her um, pre Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Have you hey, been to the pre Thanksgiving? I've been to the pre Thanksgiving dinner. I've down. ate the turkey. Okay, we made her make. We made her make two. This, you know, this past Thanksgiving, and, bring your and drink, we waited bring for your it. Drinks. That's what I'm saying. So now, shout out to Naima. Yes, yes, Definitely. yes. And then so because I did the um, hashtag hashtag slash and slash yeah. with the sisters. Yeah. So poet slash actress slash model. What? You know How'd what? That happen? How um, has that always been a part of you? It has. I mean, ever since I was like 18, people would say, oh, you know, you're so tall. We like your height. Mm-hmm. You should model. I'm like, yeah. I was tomboy. Love basketball, softball, bowling, track. I mean, that's what I was on. Um, and I have a good friend, Keisha Craig uh, Molion, who's, you know, she's watching right now. She's the model, you know, out of all the friends. She was, you know, beautiful and she was doing her thing. But I would go to different things with her and and I would just be like, this is really not my element in terms of doing like runway stuff. Like that's not me. Okay. But fell into doing a lot of print print work. Um, and so I have a couple of agents right now. And, you know, I'm just trying to see where that's going to go. You know, so I don't know. Sky's the limit. And I'm wherever God see fit. That's where I'm at. I just did work a um, shoot with True Value. Shout doing. out. Thank you so I'm much. So Appreciate serious. that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just, I just got my first print um, campaign of the year with True Value. So that's so that was that Lord, was humbling. Don't let me see I, I got like bad. garden tools and. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, do you actually garden? You you fake like you fake. You know what? I I do hire somebody to do that. Um, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can't do it. Real, myself. I know another sister. Uh, she's a talented girl. Yeah. I remember one time she did a, a McDonald's commercial. Yeah. She don't she don't touch me. But in that ad, she was biting that bird. She burger. was getting that money. <laughs> You better do what you got to do. You have to do what you have to do mm-hmm. all day long. So, um, but no, I'm trying. I'm trying to get into it. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I've been on a few things, so we'll see. Okay, then. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what we're gonna do right now? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to break for a hot second. All right. Guess what? We're not gonna come right back into interviewing. We're gonna play stuff off a of Young Flame CD. Okay. This is Young Flame Hour. It's a three minutes to the last hour of the show. I'm so glad you're rocking with us on. A word with the mouthpiece. This is Wendy City Underground.com. Yo, music, yo, station. Peace. <laughs> oh, so. the thing that's been out there like that. Recording there. The devil. <laughs> this is real radio. Okay.